Hi, Elena with Stretch ER and Pilates ER. Today we're gonna to be going over a reformer workout and we're gonna get through a whole lot of the exercises. Um, hopefully we'll get through all of them. We'll see how it goes. I have on, we're gonna start off with our feet work. I have two reds, one blue one. If you want three reds on to be a little heavier or however you like to do your feet work, um, I'm not gonna to wanna to work too hard. So I'm gonna just start by six foot work. And I'm gonna to try to stick with that actually all the way through. So lay down on your reformer with grace. Lay down on your side, you drape your legs over. And once you're here, let's just settle in to our life a little bit before we get started. Let's have our heels hooked on the bar. Flex our feet up against an imaginary wall. Get your low back to somewhat kiss. Sink the rib cage and the pelvis square up towards one another. And then from here, slowly straighten out the legs. Inhale, bend the knees in. Exhale, straighten up. Now you keep it going, press down on those arms. Fingers squeeze towards one another. Knees trace right over those toes. Good. I'm gonna buzz you through all the above. We're gonna go to the balls of the feet. Same thing, high heels. And exhale. Find your weight evenly on the left and right side of the torsos, the ball of the foot here. And I want a good amount of weight on that first side of the torso. We want a little bit extra. How we roll off this foot and we straighten heels together. Drive those legs straight together. All the way through when you straighten out, squeeze them. So the flow in Pilates is really, I love a good flow. Heels go wide, turn the toes out to the side. So being able to cue, especially if it's in a group setting, a little bit before you want them to go there, so they can just keep moving with the movement. It usually takes a little bit for a brain to process whatever it is that uh, being said. One more, balls of the feet on this next pass. High heels, we'll bring them straight. Exhale, press away. If you ever feel lost, just find yourself and learn more after the movement. Whatever cue we're on. Pelvis is squared around the toe, rib cage. Rib cage squared to the pelvis. One more. We're going to have the balls of the feet on hip apart. Balls of the feet on hip apart. Let's lower and lift our heels. Exhale as we lift. Calf raises also known as our tendon stretch. What tendon? I'm assuming it's the Achilles tendon. Anyway, we have lots of them. We're gonna prance it, bend one, lower the other, and then switch. Good, keep it going. Now find the fluidity of your alignment. Hip socket knee, and then roll up to that about first metatarsal. If I say about, right on that line. Good, you can go faster, we'll run. Good, find that fine line of your knees, not going into hyperextension. Notice what your knees are wanting to say after the hips react. And then notice and want to do this form of firmness. Let's break it up just a little bit more, sole heels on. Bring your right leg in tabletop, single leg, you bend the right leg, and you straighten it out. Let's change it up this time as you bend it down, straighten the other leg, bend and straighten. So the legs are doing opposite, and you're trying to keep the sides of your bodies the same. Let's just do one more. Switch it out. Like I said, I'm gonna do quick repetitions of all of the above, just so we can get through it. it feels good to get it done. Straighten that opposite leg this time. Bend it in. So we're on the heel. Finding the single leg flow. Going to the ball of the foot. Opposite ball of the foot, bend the other leg in tabletop. You just bend the leg on the bar and you straighten it out. Let's change it up, straighten the top leg. You lower it down as you bend it, kick it up as you straighten it. Let's point the ankle as you lower, flex the foot as you lift. So I call it leg magic. You can really do whatever you want to with this opposite leg here. I like to change it up in people's brains. Bring one ball of the foot on, other ball of the foot, other knees in tabletop, just bend. And straighten, kick up to the ceiling. You lower that leg down as you bend. Flex up and up as you kick up. You keep going. Find that alignment. Give me a lot of weight on that first metatarsal. Two more. Last time. Hold it up. Keep it up. 
I want you to find those heels on the bar, hip width apart, bend the knees, and then keep it. Let's do a heavy weighted bridge here. Round and roll up bone by bone. Inhale at your top, exhale round down. I like to get a couple of these in just to get my spine to move and articulate. Especially with a heavy spring that it's set to, it's comfortable and it makes my back engage. Uh, let's do one more pass. Exhale as you roll it up. Inhale at your top, really find that lift. Exhale as you roll down. So this is heavy, usually. I like this a little lighter, but this is traditional. So there's a reason it's so heavy. So I push the carriage out and I have my hands aligned with my shoulders, legs and tabletop. I come up into a crunch and I extend my legs out, our hundred. We inhale for a full five count, and then you exhale for a full five count. So this heavy sprints keeps you lifted up into a high crunch here in a way. Inhaling, and then exhaling. Bring the legs under the bar, let's change the legs up for fun. Inhaling, lifting those legs into the bar. Exhaling, lift one leg up, inhale. Legs could just stay the same like our hundreds normally do. Exhaling, switch your legs. Lift that leg of the bar, inhaling. And exhaling. Both legs up, teaser. Inhaling. Exhaling, lower those legs over the bar. Two more passes. Inhale, be dramatic with those arms. Exhale, every morsel of your air out. We got one more pass. Inhaling. And exhaling, every morsel of your air out. We lift our arms, we come back home. Very good. Let's bring our straps back down. Let's drape our legs over the bar. Reach our arms up. Let's reach our arms, lift our head. Exhale, we curl up all the way. Swing the legs off to the side. You're going to change your sprints. Let's put on one leg and blow. And then we're going to drape our legs up. Roll down. One red, one blow. Now, in this next pass, we're going to go ahead and get in our arms. Not in the classical order, by the way. Arms go straight to the ceiling. Legs off my tabletop. A heavy weight in arm. You exhale, pull down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull. Keep this going, truck and ribcage arms. This is all about keeping the ribs squared off to those pelvises and the pelvis squared off to the rib. Turn the palms towards your body, T-arm. Other version of truck and ribcage arms is two exercises mixed in one. Now, find a circle here. Lift the arms, find a T. Pull the arms towards your side. Lift up to the ceiling. Find the T. Exhale, pull down your side. We reverse it. Find the T to the ceiling. Exhale, pull down. One more to T. Ceiling. Exhale, pull down. Let's do triceps. Bend the elbows. Exhale, straighten the arms. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. A couple more passes. Let's straighten the legs at the same time this time. So straighten legs, straighten arms. Bend knees, bend elbows. Straighten legs, straighten arms. Bend knees, bend elbows. One more, straighten legs, straighten arms. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Let's straighten the arms to the ceiling. Crunch it up as you pull those arms down. Extend the legs, we'll add that in. Bend the knees as you come home. Abdominal prep, you reach up, find the crunch and extend the legs. Inhale as you release. We do another, exhale, crunch it up. And inhale, release. It's your arm series here. Let's go ahead and get into the leg series on this strap or spring setting. Bring your feet into the straps. Feet into the straps. Once you have that, legs extend out straight. Long legs lift up. Long legs pull down. Legs are glued together. Keep this going. The hips are stable. Your shoulders are stable. You find the same length on the left and right side of your body. Heels together, toes apart. So, try to buzz through all of it. Class setting, I would do a lot more repetitions than I'm doing. Toes towards each other, heels out to the side. Lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Two more. From here, bend the knees at line about two more. And straight, not classical here. But fascia focus me likes you to scour out your hips. Legs together, bend here. So we either bend and train our legs in these three different leg positions here. Externally rotate, bend and straighten here. Knees trace over, exhale straighten. So 
So we did everything wrong, we did everything bent. Now we open the legs, flex and open. Point and close. Flex and open. Point and close. From your big leg circles. Let's tail around. Inhale, lift. Pull, exhale around. Lift up to the top. And reverse it. Exhale, pull. Inhale, open, lift. Exhale, pull. Inhale, open and lift. Exhale, pull. Inhale, open and lift. Lower down, frog variation. Open the legs up to the side. Bend them in. Exhale, kick out. Open the legs up to the side. Bend in. Exhale, kick out. So think the three points. The legs open up, point one. Legs find frog heels together, point two. Straighten the legs all the way out, point three. Hit the three points. We hit one. We bend it in. Two. Exhale out, three. Reverse this. You can bend it in. Think point one. Straighten the legs out. Find that B. Two. Long legs pull together. Three. Bend. Straighten it out. Pull together. Find the fluidity. Don't skip through your points. Find each one of them with grace and notice how your knees like to react. Now hold this. Knees bend a little bit. Our diamond. Lift it up. Exhale, pull it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull. So straighten out the legs. A single leg frog, also known as our herky, bend one leg, extend the other leg out. Straighten it out all the way. Now the opposite side. Now, the leg that's bending, I want to trace down your midline. If I drew a line down the center of your body, that's your midline. Let the heel trace it. Good. One more on each side. Exhale, you press it out. Last one. Press it out all the way. From here, bend the knees. We're going to our short spine. Make sure your head rests down. Straighten the legs. Lift the legs. Exhale, hold the butt all the way up to the ceiling. You inhale, bend the knees until the shoulders shoulders. Exhale, roll down. Think the legs lengthen out in space. Keep the feet still. So don't let the feet travel with you. It's a great spine stretch. Once your butt touches, pull your legs into a frog and then you straighten them out. Inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, roll it up, press into those arms. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, round and roll down. Feel the legs lengthen out. Feel every spine bone. And then you kick the legs out. One more, long legs lift up, roll up. Bend the knees. Round the spine, roll down. Once your butt touches, pull those legs and straighten out. Legs are together, long legs lift. Roll the butt up, bone by bone. Open the feet up, hip width. Exhale as you slowly roll down. Thighs are neutral. Ankles are neutral. Once your butt touches, open them up, circle them around and together. One more. Lift up our long back stretch. Round the butt up. Open the feet up, hip width. Exhale, round and roll down. Make sure you're breathing. No pinching on your spine. Open the legs up, circle around and down. Keep them hip width apart. We're going to re reverse it. Lift the legs. Exhale, peel the butt up. Close them. Roll down, bone by bone. Once your butt touches, then you open them out to the side, circle around and down and hip width apart. One more like this. Lift the long legs. Round the booty up. Close those legs. Round down. Press down with those arms. Press down with those wrists. Once your butt touches, open, circle around and down and together. Let's do one more thing. Heels together, toes apart. Lift the long legs, roll all the way up. Our high frog, you bend the knees into the shoulder stoppers. Exhale, straighten the legs to the ceiling. Inhale, bend to the shoulder stoppers. Exhale, press to the ceiling. One more. Inhale, bend to the shoulder stoppers. Exhale, press to the ceiling. Roll down, bow by bow. Good, and bend the knees in. Take, uh, let's do a little stretch. Long legs, pull to the straps. Open up those legs to the side. Take a deep breath. Rock side to side of your hips, open up. Good. Take the feet out. Drape those straps back on. Drape your legs over. I want you to have your hands on the shoulder stoppers. You're going to walk your waddle yourself down where your arms are straight and you're pushing that carriage away from you and you're hanging on to this position. Now, once you have this, I want you to find one ball is going to put on the bar and the other ball is put on the bar. Heels together and lift your hips up as high as you can. So no pressure here. 
out on your neck. I want you to round the spine like a ball and roll all the way down and try to find your butt on a spring. Now straighten the legs. Now roll the butt up. Bend the knees in. Roll the butt down. Push it away. Roll the butt up. Bend the knees in. Roll the back down. Straighten the legs out. Roll the butt up. Bend in. One more. Roll down. Straighten out. Roll the up. Bend it in. Keep it. Push it away. Roll it down. Bend it in. Roll it up. Push it away. Roll it down. Bend it in. Roll it up. Push it away. Roll it down. And then bend. Good job. Semi-circle. Straighten your legs over. That's a lot of them. You're welcome. Let's walk it in. And then once you're back into your home position, keep those legs straight over. Now reach those arms up to the ceiling. Reach those arms, lift the head. Exhale as you roll up all the way. We're going to roll off to the side. I want you to put on one red spring only. Or one spring only. That's your lingo. We're going to be rolling back. Your legs should do the headrest. Uh, if you can do this with your legs straight, do so. If you can't, cross those ankle, one ankle on top. I want a hand width distance between the butt and the back of the carriage. Grab onto the straps. I'm going to hold onto the long straps. Rowing number one, sit tall. You bend the elbows in towards your chest. You inhale, exhale, round the spine like a ball. Inhale, exhale, open these arms out to the side. Pull them back and fold over those legs. Inhale, arms are back behind you. You lift the arms to the ceiling and then to the feet. All the steps in the world, sit tall. Palms are towards each other. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, exhale, round the spine like a ball. Inhale, exhale, open those arms out to the side. Pull them back as you fold forward over those legs. Long arms lift up to the ceiling and into the feet. Sit tall. Let's do one more. Exhale, pull in. Exhale, round back. Exhale, open up. Pull back. Fold over. Arms are back. Lift the arms and circle them around. Sit tall. Turn your palms up. Number two, bend into a bicep curl. Long body leans back. Reach the arms up and over. You inhale, fold over, hold on to the ropes. You pull down, back, and around, and then to the feet. Good. If you had your ankles crossed, cross to the other ankle here. You're gonna pull into a bicep curl. You lean back. Exhale, straighten those arms. Inhale, fold over those legs, grab onto those ropes. You pull down, you pull back, you lift up, and then to the feet. Sit tall. Bicep, lean. Extend, fold over, and then big breath stroke. Back, up, and then around. Good, okay. Now let's do reverse crunches. So bring your thighs around, or in the loops like you're putting it on, some knee-high pantyhose, roll your back down. You can also do this on your forearms, this is a variation of this. By the way, hands go back behind your head. Your butt's close to the shoulder stoppers, but not touching. Bring one leg in tabletop, bring the other leg in tabletop. Straighten the legs out. Exhale, pull the knees in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull. Keep this going. One more. Straighten out. We're going to do single leg. Exhale and straighten. Other leg. Let's let our legs be hip width apart here. Exhale. Mm -hmm. One more. Good. Bring both legs in. Go to one side. Inhale, release. Then the other side. Inhale, release. And then those legs go to one side. And you go out. And then the other. And then you go out. Open those legs. Crawl yourself up. And then you can take yourself out of this position. Get yourself out of the straps. Put the straps down, and let's be efficient in this position as well. So you could do the seated, you could do the solid box. I'm gonna to choose to do this kneeling. Anytime when it comes to the arm work, 
You can have different body positions to make it work for you. So I'm facing back for my arm series this way. My palms are back. You pull back and y'all release. Exhale, pull back. Turn your palms towards your body. Chest expansion number two. Good. Rotate your palms forward. Number three. Stops at the hip bones, travels back behind you. Let's do one more. Pull it back. Now here is traditional. Turn your head one way. Keep those arms back. Turn your head the other. Turn your eyes forward. Head forward. Release the arms at the hips. Pull the hips behind you. To the left. To the middle. To the right. To the middle. And then forward. Good. Now from here, I want your arms to be nice and long. Lean back. You pull to a bicep curl. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull. Inhale, release. One more. Pull. Inhale, release. Sit tall. Arms go through the straps. We're going to our rhomboids. Make your arms look like a field goal. You bring these arms forward. You exhale, pull back. Inhale, swing the arms forward. Exhale, swing them back. Now, keep these arms the same shape and pull them evenly and keep your chest open. Keep those ribs pointed down to that pelvis. Turn your palms towards your body. Notice how you're holding the ribs of the pelvis. Try to keep your ribs stable and let these arms move around them. Good, come out of it. We're gonna cross these straps, hang on to the tops of the rope. So we're hanging on the opposite straps. You pull to a row, inhale as you release. Long wrist here, exhale, pull to a row, inhale, release, long neck. Ears right over the shoulders. Good, let those elbows go out to the sides. Two. No, we're not. We're gonna go into our bow and arrow. Pull one arm and then look back at that elbow and then you release this. Bend the other arm, twist and look back at that elbow. Now, like you're pulling a bow, that other arm just stays straight. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull and twist. And then inhale, release. Good, let's go to our thigh stretch. You open these straps, get them even. Left one holds on the left. From knees to shoulders, you're in a long line, lean back. Exhale, come up. Keep this going. The further back you lean, the more your chin tucks to your chest. In other words, keep your eyes on your horizon. Exhale as you come up. It helps you whenever you lean back to get up. Your arms lift slightly in space, and then it'll help you. Let's do one more so you can feel that. Inhale, lean back. Lift those arms up. Exhale, come home. Very good. Straps go back on. Reverse kneeling crunches. That's what these ones are called. I think I said that earlier. Shoulders go over the hands. Inhale, release. I like a preparatory here to show people how to keep those shoulders and hands engaged. What muscles does that take? One more time, we're gonna pull it in, keep the shoulders right over those hands. Curl the knees in by curling the spine, and then flatten that spine, knees go back. Then curl the spine, the knees pull underneath you naturally. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl. Inhale, release. One more, curl. Inhale, release. Release this back. Both hands on either side. Pull the shoulders over those hands. You can prep here too if you want it. Curl the knees in. Inhale, release. Two more. Curl the knees in, the back curls. Inhale, release. Then curl the back versus the knees. Inhale, release. Usually I like to go into a good stretch here, so let's do it real quick. Why not get length? We need this in our arms. Come up with a bum. Hands go to the other side. Pull the shoulders over those hands. You curl the back. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl the back. And then inhale, release. Go into a little rest position. Find that long body. Hmm, very nice. Okay, come up. Let's turn around. We're gonna have long legs. So we're gonna go into our front rowing series. Three different versions of this. You have long legs. You'll have the straps in your hand. I'm gonna choose the long straps. If you wanna work harder, you can do the short straps. Bum is close to the shoulder stoppers. You sit tall. Elbows are bent. Your palms are down. This is our home position. Feet are flexed. Straighten your arms to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Long arms lower right down in front of you and they tap the carriage. Long arms lift to the ceiling. 
You turn the palms to the side, then you bring these arms to the side and all the way down towards the side of the reformer. Bend the elbows back to our home position. Exhale, reach the arms out, lower the arms down, lift the arms up, and then go out to the side. We'll do three passes of each. One more, bend in. Exhale, reach out with the arms. Lower the arms down, lift the arms up, and then out to the side. So number two is the same thing. You just add in the core. So you reach the arms and the core out to that diagonal. You lower the arms and the core down over the legs. You lift the arms and the core up to the ceiling. And then you bring the arms down to the side and ground and then bend back and hop. Again, reach everything out, lower everything down, lift everything up. Exhale as you bring those arms all the way side and down. Last one like this. Exhale, reach. Inhale, fold over. Still lift up, 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 up. Exhale as you bring those arms down. Now, it's a little bit more efficient. You reach your arms and your core out to the legs. Reach out. Inhale, grow tall, find vertical. Exhale, open those arms out to the side. Bend in. You exhale, reach out. Long arms come up. Open out to the side. Last one, rowing. Exhale, reach out. <laughs> Inhale up, my brain's like, where? Open out to the side. Good job. I'm gonna choose crisscross applesauce just to make my arm series going this way, um, the way I want to. You could sit on the carriage, on the box, you could kneel. So, I'm gonna start off with hug a tree. Closing my arms. Inhale, open. So here, it's always about the core. Shoulders and the hips are stacked right on top of each other. And they're trying to be squared off even. Hug your tree number two, palms are down, open up. Exhale as you close. Inhale, open, ears right over the shoulders. Exhale, one more. And then on our next pass, we're gonna go into our bicep curls. Lower those arms down. You lean forward, you bicep. Inhale, release. Exhale, bicep. We could have bicep the other Oh, I did. I did. Never mind. I got it. Good. Now, come up. Hands go back behind the head. Thumb and index finger together. You straighten the arms where the ceiling and the wall meet. Inhale, bend. Hands meet back behind the head. So, shake the back of the head. Our torso leans forward slightly. The more advanced you get, the more your arms reach to the ceiling. So does your core. Try not to move your knees. Salute. Hands find the front of the head now. Same thing. Exhale, straighten up. Hands find the front of the head. Exhale, straighten up. One more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten up. From here, lower these arms down. Slight bend in the elbows. Offering number one. You just lift the shape of the arm up, and then you lower the shape of the arm down. Exhale, lift the shape up. Inhale, lower down. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over ribs. Make sure those ribs, the ribs, the bottom of the ribs, ribs, the ribs, are facing towards the pelvis. Hug it through the offering number two. Bend the elbows into the hips and then straighten those arms out. Bend those elbows in towards the hips and then straighten those arms out. Couple more. Exhale, reach to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Last time. Let's do circles here. Lower these arms down, open up to a T, and then close those arms. Lower down, open up to a T, and close those arms. I'm gonna cross my legs the other cross just to change my pattern a little. Lower those arms, open up to the side, exhale, pull. Again. We're gonna reverse our circles here, open up to the side. Lower those arms, exhale as you lift. Inhale here, get snacky, so be careful when you're teaching the series that you're not doing like eight of all of them. Give yourself breaks in between, especially if you're trying to get it all in. Now let's go to the big circles. All the way up. You could do half circles here. Let me show you two on each side. So you lift or up circles. Exhale. A lot of upper body to be able to hold this here. Now reverse this. You inhale, open. Lift them. Exhale as you pull down. <laughs> open. Lift it. Exhale as you pull down. Now the real big circles. Open. So drop down. Lift them up. Our up circles because we're going up there. Open out to the side. And then down. One more up circle. Lift up. Open out to the side. Palms are forward. And down. Now here, you open out to the side and up. Turn your palms up. 
lower down. Open, turn up, lower down. Good, okay. So let's bring these straps down. Let's add on the blue spring. So let's come up, stand to the left side of the performer. Like I told you, it's classical stuff, but not in classical order. I want you to have the left foot, I'm on the left side, my left foot's on the ground, my right foot's on the shoulder stopper. I'm gonna just press it out, bend it in. So pretty heavy on this red and blue. I would start on a red if this is new to you, but with this red and blue, knowing I need that hand strength to help push me here, it's really hard to find balance. If you don't, if so, make sure you're strong enough. Good. So the leg that's back, I want the opposite, excuse me, yeah, the opposite hand at that low back. So this is how you would advance it. So my standing leg and my standing arm are opposite here. Mm -hmm. One more. Good. Bring that knee down. Find a little lunge stretch. So there's a lunges, lunge stretch. Sway side to side. And that can be a whole series there. You could pulse. And like I said, I like it on the lighter spring because that balance, the standing leg, other side, that standing leg gets a lot of work out of it. So once you're here, find your lunge. That back leg is lifted off the cat carriage. All you do is straighten out, excuse me, bend that back leg and straighten out. Also known as carriage kickbacks, if you're in a Ligree format. Exhale as you press it away. Now, opposite hand goes at our low back. So it's gonna be my right hand at my low back, my left foot's on the carriage. Squaring my shoulders down, squaring those hips somewhat down. Good, we got one more. Come on in, bring that knee down, find your lunge, stretch. Go side to side. Good, you don't have to get through all this repertoire. I really like to find series and work that series and really teach people how to move. Find that proper alignment. Sometimes less is a lot more. Let's come up. Since we're on this red and the blue, let's stand up on our carriage. We're gonna find flat feet and our toes are gonna to be lifted. From the ribs to the wrist, I want you rounded, eyes on the thighs. Go back six inches of the carriage, exhale as you pull it in. Six inches with the carriage, exhale as you pull it in. Six inches with the carriage, exhale, pull it in. That's our elephant. Drop the toes, lift the heels. Up stretch number one, same thing. You go back six inches, exhale, pull it in. Good, keep it up. Eyes on those thighs, really round from the ribs to the wrist. If I could poke you in your armpits, I think it would lift you higher. One more. Good, let's prep for our arabesque. Swing one leg to the side, lower that leg down, then the other. Our TikTok, again, a prep for our arabesque. One more time. Good, let's do the left leg or whatever leg you're on. Swing that leg back, square the hips down to the ground. You go back six inches. As you pull it in, lift the left leg even higher. Go back six inches. As you pull it in, lift the left leg even higher. One more time, go back six inches. As you pull it in, that left leg as high as it possibly can be. Swing it out to the side, down, and around. The other leg swings out to the side. It swings back in space. Square off the hips, square off the shoulders. Go back six inches. As you pull it in, lift that back leg high. Go back six inches. As you pull it in, lift the back leg even higher. One more time. Really trying to find that height for you. Swing the leg out to the side. Drop it down all the way. Heavy plank, push it out to a plank, find that strength there, and then pull it in. Good, one more time. You could do all the rest of the series on this red and the blue. To me, you usually have to be pretty advanced to be able to hold that strength out. So go down to one red only, one red only. Be careful, it's a lot lighter. We're gonna come up. So find that plank and pike again. A preparatory for our up stretch three. Keep this going, finding that plank. As you can tell, that red spring is a lot more challenging because you have to hold it in. Last pass, another prep. Our front support, you pull the carriage forward, push the carriage back. Pull the carriage forward, push the carriage back. 
Now we're going to combine all of the above for upstretch three. You pull the carriage in, you pike it up, and you lean back. You find your plank. Here we go. We pull in. Think a big circle you're drawing with your body. Pike it up. Lean back. Plank it out. Pull the carriage forward with those arms. Pike it up and lean back. Now from here, try to find your plank shoulders past your arms. Don't open the carriage intentionally. Open the carriage, exhale, push it with your arms. Pike it up. We reverse this up stretch three. You keep the carriage closed as you pike it out. Shoulders go past those hands. You push the carriage open with those arms, exhale. Pike it up, still exhaling. Very good, let's just do one more to get it in there. Bring those shoulders past those hands. Keep that carriage closed. Push that carriage open, exhale. You pike it up, pike it up, pike it up, pike it up, up, up. Good, from here we drop down to our knees. You get into your down stretch. Toes down, feet back. You press your hips forward. You push the carriage back with your arms, eyes down to the ground, neck in alignment. Inhale, pull the carriage in with your arms. Hips go towards the bar. Exhale as you push away, don't let that head bob. Eyes down. Inhale as you pull yourself forward. Eyes lift. Two more. Exhale as you push away. Inhale as you pull yourself forward. Really trusting those arms. Last pass. Exhale, push away. You can tell when I like them. I'll do more of them. <laughs> Inhale, lift up. Now, butt goes to the feet, you hover. Flat back, you push the carriage back with a flat back, then you pull it in. These are fast, you go back, exhale in. Back, exhale in. Now really work on that flat back the whole time. Back and in, one more. Now same thing, but with a round spine. Pull it in. You usually can't go back that far because your hips are gonna wanna open up and you wanna keep them curled. One more. Now to me, the easy way to get here for the next of that series is lift up, high heels. Bend the knees, they hover. Flat back, same thing, push back, in, back, back, back. Now curl the back, same thing. All about the end, get it in, get it in. Bend it close to the knees, are the carriage even better. And in, now drop down, very good. Bring your feet up against the shoulder stoppers. You're gonna bring the right foot on the bar, right in between those hands. Do whatever you need to. If you need to drop the bar down lower to do it, that's always a thing. You press the carriage out, exhale. Inhale as you bend it in. Find this little lunge. Exhale as you press it away. Inhale as you come in. So, this eventually gets to standing. Let's come and balance. If you need your hands, they're right there. I'm gonna try to balance through. I'm gonna put my hands on the hips. Inhale. Exhale, press it away. And then bend it in. Good. Come out of it. Like I said, a lot more fun when you're doing all the whole series or holding it. You press it out. Find it first with your hands on. This is level one of finding this. This is showing people, I can straighten my leg here. I can trust myself. Sometimes it takes a while for people to be able to calm your nervous system down to hold this. If you feel willing, hands on the hip, same thing. Straighten it out, just see yourself doing it. Bend it in, don't worry about those details. Pushing it out, gorgeous. And then we just bend it in. <laughs> Good. From here, since we're in this position, let's come up and let's stand up. Let's bring the headrest high, the headrest high. However, your headrest needs to get there. Feet in the middle of the carriage. Let's go ahead and dance with what we were just doing. You're gonna bring one ball of foot onto the bar and then you jump the other foot back to that headrest. If you need to do it in the middle of the carriage, that's always a thing. Think toes on the carriage, foot's on the headrest. Now you press away, then you bend it. Finding your split here or prep here. Exhale, press it away. Inhale, bend it. You ready? So if you come up, no pressure on getting here, hands on the hips. You press it away, inhale, bend it in, exhale, press it away, inhale, bend it in. Good, come down, we're gonna switch it to the other side, think foot in the middle of the carriage, other foot on the bar. You lean into the hands to jump that foot back on the headrest. Foot's down, toes on the carriage. You just press it out, find that split. 
teach those fibers it's okay to go there. We have the strength to pull it back. We just gotta learn it. Come up if you feel willing. You press it out. Just imagine yourself doing it. And then find that calm mental state. One more. And then come in. Good, come down. So since we're doing these standing things, let's go ahead and mosey on and do some other. Turn around, hands on the shoulder stoppers. I want one foot on the bar. You're gonna press this carriage out. And then from here, think pike it up and find a plank position. You pike it up, eyes on the thighs. You plank it out. Keep going. Pike it up, eyes on the thighs. Plank it out. Pike it up. Plank it out, keep it. Our front support here. You open the carriage. You pull it back underneath you. It's an exhale. Inhale back underneath you. One more. And since you're here, this is how you get the next one. You bring one foot on the carriage, toes on the headrest, foot on the carriage. Just how we work. You straighten that leg out. You bend it in. You straighten it out. You bend it in. You straighten it out. You pike it up. You plank it out. Or stretch the uh, split it out. Plank it out. Pike it up, excuse me. Plank it out, find that split. I'll get my words right. Pike it up and split it out. Good, bend this knee in. So preparatories, you'll see how that advances. Bring your foot on, other foot goes on. You straighten that leg out, you bend it in. You straighten that leg out, you bend it in. One more, you straighten it out. You pike it up, eyes on the thighs. You split it out. You pike it up. You split it out. One more, pike it up. Split it out. Good, bend that knee in. Bring that foot on the bar. And then from here, pike it up. Plank it out. Mm. Pike it up. All the variations of planks and pikes you can do, this one would be a high version of it for the hands on the shoulder stoppers and the hands on the bar. You can always do this on the carriage and on the side of the reform over there. Find the plank. One foot goes on the bar or carriage. You bend down all the way. Now, let's come out of this position. Let's add on a blue spring. So I want one red, one blue, or one and a half, if that's your lingo. So let's sit on the bar. Tell yourself it's gonna be great. Let's have the arches of the feet on the edge. Arches, the middle of the feet. Prehensile position. Straighten the legs. And find a good position for your bum. Curl the upper feet over that carriage. Curl the heels under. Eyes on the thighs. You're gonna press in the hands. Pike it up. Inhale, find it down. Let your butt go through. Tricep deck. Straighten. Exhale, pike it up. So every exercise can be broken down into preparatory moves. So not letting yourself stress out that you need to do every step of this. Even if you just stopped where your butt was at that bar and then just lift it up from there. Let's prep backwards. So let's lower down, butt hovers. Exhale, pike it up. To me, that's where the strength of this exercise comes in those arms and learning how to tuck your head under. Exhale. Good. So our feet can do a couple of different positions. Let's point to the left foot to the left corner of the carriage. Both hands are on either side of the right leg. You lower down, think that butt hovers. Exhale, pike it up. Okay, there's the prep. Now take the foot off. You lower down. Exhale, pike it up. Good, now you swing this leg back. You can do as many as you wanted to do. I'm gonna show you real quick. Exhale up. Swing this leg around. Good. Some of these advanced moves, we're gonna do the other side. Right foot to the right corner. Both hands on either side of the left leg. Do it with the foot pointed down at first. Exhale, some of these advanced moves, just doing one time was good enough. Swing that leg out to the side, lower. Exhale. Swing that leg back. Lower, mm -hmm. exhale, come up. Swing it out to the side and back on. 
Very good. Sit that butt back down. Okay. I think we're ready for our box. So let's get our box on. We're going to do a short box on the reformer and start off with that short box series. So it's where the box is perpendicular up against the shoulder stoppers. Some reformers, three springs or more, doesn't matter the springs. Some reformers, they go on the other sides of the springs. Um, it's not. No, your reformer base. You bring your bar down, down for you. Three springs or more is loaded springs when it comes to the short box series. Note the short box series is most of the stuff that you can do on our barrels, the small barrels and the big barrels that you'll do inside. Okay, heels together, toes apart. And then I need to find my strap taunt. So do whatever you need to do to get that taunt strap. You know what, Let me, let's do more fashion focus. Let's have those legs hip width apart here. So I'm sitting about the middle of the box. My arms are wrapped around my tummy. I'm rounded in a C-spine. Shoulders are right over those hips. You lean back on an inhale, and then you exhale, come up. You inhale, lean back. Exhale, fold over the legs. One more. You fold over the legs. Now here, sit tall, reach your arms out. You inhale, lean back. Traditionally, this is tall with a dowel in your hand. Inhale, lean back. We have an imaginary dowel. Good, now from here, lift your arms to the ceiling. You lean to one side, keep your back long. Keep the sit bones down. Exhale as you pull to the center. Lean to the other side, keep the sit bones down. Lengthen out of the side you're leaning to. Exhale, lean, don't curl down that side, spine. Keep it lifted. One more, lean. Now we go into our twist, you twist, you lean back, and then from here, one swift motion as you come back to the center. You twist, you lean, exhale, come up and then twist to the center. Twist and you lean, long exhale, good, twist, lean, long exhale. Now from here, we're gonna combine it around the world, twist, lean, you stay here, look up to the ceiling, look to the side, exhale around all the way back to the center, other way. Twist, you lean up to the ceiling, to the side, exhale back to the center. One more on each side, twist, lean, look up. You twist, exhale back to the center. Other way, twist, you lean, you look up, you twist, and you come all the way back to center. Good, okay, uh, climb a tree. Take one leg out, and you're gonna hang on to the back of that thigh. We're gonna do one each, okay? Kick three times. You kick one, think three, three, three. Two, three, walk it up. One, two, three. You lean back where the leg gets vertical in space. Notice how that strap at the foot catches you. Walk down, one, walk down, two, walk down, three, drop it all the way back. If you need to keep your head tucked, do it. If you're doing your head, inhale, lift your head, exhale, curl up. Walk up to leg one, walk up to leg two. Both hands on the ankle, three. You inhale, sit tall, and then you walk down the leg, one, Walk down two, walk down three. Bend it, kick it up three times, another version. One, you kick two, you kick three, walk up the leg. One, walk up two, both hands on the ankle, three. The same leg as that arm, or same arm as that leg, it hangs on to the inside of the foot. Open the leg out to the side, the other hand hangs on to the box, that's important. Think the leg is back behind you, round the spine like a ball, all the way back for you. If you can drop your head, drop your head, inhale, Tuck the chin to the chest. Exhale as you roll up. Bring that leg forward. Hand on. You walk one. You walk two. You walk three. Bend in. Drop that foot back on. Other leg. We kick. One, two, three. Walk up. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Leg goes vertical. Walk it down. Keep that neutral leg. Drop it all the way back if your body can take it. Come up with that head first before you crunch. Walk it up one, walk it up two, walk it up three. Sit tall here, and then from here, again, walk down one, walk down two, walk down three. We bend and straighten. One more, walk it up. Same leg as that arm. You can grab it on the inside of the foot. The other hand grabs onto the side of the box, there's something to hang on to. Open it out, it's past your body intentionally. You round back. If you wanna drop it back, drop it back. You tuck the chin to the chest. Exhale as you roll it up. 
Bring that leg forward, you walk down one, walk down two, walk down three, bend it in. Good job. So from here, let's go into our side work. I'm gonna bring one foot in and turn on my side towards you. So I'm turning on my right side. My right knee has been on top of the box. My left foot is in the strap. I'm gonna put my right hand on the headrest. I'm gonna go ahead and put my headrest down. Right hand on the headrest, left hand back behind my head. You just bend the elbow and you straighten. Preparatory for this next move. Shows you the range of motion. Now both hands back behind the head. You lower, you lift, you lower. So this one's the same thing, just in advancing. Arms reach over the head. Exhale, lift, one more. Hands go back behind the head, twist down, open out. Hands go back behind the head, you twist forward. You twist, open out, hands back behind the head, and you twist forward. Elbow on the headrest, reach that up arm up, up, top arm up and over. If you have more flexibility than this, you can bring that hand down. Sway that pelvis forward and back. Crawl yourself up, help yourself, get all the way out of the position. You're gonna bring the other foot in the strap. Turn onto your side. That knee can drape on top of the box or over, your choice. That bottom arm is gonna to go towards the headrest, the other hand back behind your head. You just bend the elbow that's on that headrest and then you straighten. You bend and then you straighten, both hands back behind the head. You lower and then you lift, you lower, then you lift, straighten those arms. You lower and you lift. One more. Both hands back behind the head. You twist. Open up the arms. Hands go back behind the head. Twist forward. You twist. Open up those arms. Hands go back behind the head. And then you twist. Elbows on the headrest. I want you to go up and over over with that arm. From here, I want you to drop yourself into the well even more. And then sway that help pelvis forward and back. Help yourself out of this position. Crawl up. Good. Awesome. We're going to turn this box the other way and do some other stuff on this box. So, actually, let's do a little bit more since we're here. Let's go to one red spring. You can do this on the red spring, but I want to see where this goes. So, let's lay on our side on the box, face the back of the box. So we're on our hip and we're on our forearm here, on the hip and forearm. You grab the strap that's closest to the legs, you pull it, and then this long leg pulls back, inhale, release. Long leg pulls back, inhale, release. Long leg pulls back, toes and knees are forward. One more, long leg pulls back. And now release. Didn't want to leave that one out. Good. Let's go to the other side. Let's swivel those hips over to the other side. That forearm is going to be on that box. Once you have that position, straighten out of that top leg. And all you do is pull that leg back. And now release. Turn that toe and knee forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, release. Good. Open that chest, pushing far away with that forearm. We do one more pass here. Exhale, pull back. And inhale, release. Good. The strap goes back home. And then we're going to come out of this position. Now, let's turn into a long box. Since we have our bar down, let's use this. I'm gonna stay on the blue spring. You could totally do this on a red spring. Um, if you had connectors, if you had four straps, I would definitely go a little higher with this so you can feel it like a red and blue. So chest hangs off the box. Your hands are on the top of the straps. Lift the legs. You pull these arms to your hips. Lift the eyes, lift the head, lift the back. You lower your back down as you lower the arms. You pull the arms to your hips. Inhale, lift your back. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale. Pull, exhale, lower down, last pass. Inhale, pull, hold it. Bend the elbows, lower your back. Straighten the arms, lift your back. Bend the elbows, lower your back. 
Straighten the arms, lift the back, lift those thighs, one more. Bend the elbows, lower the back. Straighten the arms and lift, T-arm. T-arm, lower your back. Straighten the arms and lift. T-arm lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, and then inhale, lift. Very good. We're gonna bring the straps back down to their homes. We're gonna come off of our box. One red spring only. Lay down on your back. Once you lay down on your back, I want you to make sure the base of your head has support on this box. So the back of that head is supported. You're gonna reach and grab your straps. A lot of flexibility in the arms to be able to do that. Hands go at the top of the head, thumbs and index finger touch. One leg in tabletop, other leg in tabletop, or dead bug. You straighten the arms and legs to the ceiling. You open the arms and legs out to the seat side. You scoop around and down, reach over where the bar would be and come up into a little crunch. Inhale, bend the elbows back and knees back into tabletop. Straighten the arms and the legs up. Open the arms and the legs out. Circle the arms and the legs around and down. Pull down over the bar, come up into a crunch. Bend back into dead bug. One more, also called a breaststroke. Straighten the arms and legs. Open those arms and legs. Scoop them around and down and reach. Bend those knees back in. Teaser, those arms go down, your legs go down, and they go long. The back of the head falls off the box in this position. You, school, excuse me, start to scoop those arms, lift the head, and roll up. Lift those legs up into a teaser, and tease the arms to the legs. You slowly go down. Good. Inhale, lift the head, scoop the arms. Exhale as you crunch it up. Inhale as you release. And again, scoop, exhale. A variation, just lower the arms. Exhale, lift. Lower the legs. Exhale, lift. Lower the arms and the legs. Exhale, lift them. Circle them in the opposite directions. Exhale, other way. Ah! <laughs> Brain game. <laughs> we can get there. Lower all the way down. Good job. Okay, now from here, Let's bring our straps back down. If you can't figure it out, just drop them. Let's come up. So, our next position to get in here, bring the straps back to their home. This is how I like to teach this. Sometimes it goes smoothly. Stand up on the sides of the reformer, slide one foot into the strap, and then put that foot on the side. Other foot slides into that strap, and you put that foot on the side. You lay your body down, and you drape your chest. Your feet have to do some funky stuff to keep those straps on. Now, once you have this, your chest hangs off the edge, your forearms are on the box, and you push yourself up. You bend the knees, and you straighten. I got my rope all twisted. Bend, and then straighten. Now, you keep this going, smooth and steady, as you move. I got myself here. Sorry. I'll get back to you on that. I'm sorry. Always the most awkward when you need to get in these positions. But it's great. Don't you love Pilates? Okay, I'm gonna do this again. Push on your forearms, just bend and straighten. Now, just do one leg. One leg bends, you straighten out. The other leg bends, you straighten out. I got one twisted. Bend, straighten out. We just do one more pass. You bend, and then you straighten out. Now, once you have that, I want you to reach back and grab onto your ankles. Reach back and grab onto your ankles. And you're gonna to try to find yourself in this balanced position. We're getting into our rocking in this. So once you have your ankles, flex your feet, lift your eyes, lift your head, and then we're gonna rock. You inhale down, exhale up. Excuse me, exhale down, inhale up. Two. And one. Good, come out of this position. Hmm. Grab these straps with your hands. Hands at the edge of the box. Make sure that chest is forward. Palms are down. Straighten those arms out. Bend arms in. Keep it going. The straps are rubbing you. Make sure they're at a spot where you're okay with it. 
And then let's go to a full range of motion. You could totally stop those arms in a field goal position, but sometimes I like to change it up. Now field goal here, bend, and then push it out. Bend, push it out, keep it. Lift the eyes, lift the head, lift the back. Circle the arms around and down, lower the back. Bend into your home position. You straighten the arms out. You lift the eyes, the head, the back, lift up. Circle the arms around and then lower down. One more of these. Press out with those arms. Lift the eyes, lift the head, lift the back. Circle around and then come back in. Good. Come out of this. We have our self on, um, I think, let me think if I can get away, anything else with this box. Let's just put this box off to the side. Not all the way up for you. You might drive on it, just in case, but I forgot one thing. So, from here, let's keep our spring, we're on one red. The bar is down, hold on to that. We're gonna stand on the side of the performer. So stand up, put the other foot on the edge of the carriage. Hands are on your hips. Give me a nice low squat. You just press it out. You bend it in, skaters. So the same leg that's on the side of that performer, or side of the carriage, that's what's pressing out. One more skater here. Now right in between the legs, the other leg, the one on the reformer, press it out. It bends in. It presses out. Comes in. We do one more skater like this. Now we alternate. You press one, you come in, then the other. Good. Try to find the smoothness in your knees when you do this. Exhale, press, and then come in. Come up, you split it open, and then you come in. T arm. Inhale, open up. Exhale in. If you want to make this more challenging, your foot can go closer to the headrest. However, more open it is, the more challenging it is. We'll do a couple here. Exhale as you pull it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Pick it up, flowers. Open it up. Hinge forward at your hips. Pick a bouquet of flowers. Lift this bouquet up. Give them to the world. Stay here, lean forward, keep that carriage open. Pick up the flowers, come up, give them away, come in. Kind of like we, we did earlier, but our legs are shaped different. One's forward, one turned out, yoga style. Go into a split, and then pike it up. Good, so we did this on the bar earlier. Exhale as you come up, and the hands on the shoulder stoppers. So you can see that preparatory of how it can get here. Now, you bend the front leg, exhale, press. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. Good, let's come out of here. And then I'm gonna bring my hands on the shoulder stoppers. Bring both hands on, or both feet on the carriage. Then I'm gonna step the other foot back. One's external, one is parallel. I'm gonna come up, hands on the hips. Try to swim my hips forward, challenging. Find your split, and then come in. Split it open. Come in. One more. Open. Come in. Good. We're going to open it up and we're going to keep it. Here, you're going to bend that front leg. Straighten it out. Bend the front leg. Straighten it out. Come in all the way. Turn the toes and knees forward. I'm going to get you going here quick. Open up to that split. This is a challenging one. Close it. Good. Open. Exhale on the close here for that pelvic floor. Bring that foot to the edge of the carriage. Now waddle it over. Open up. Find that split. You can see it feels heavier here. Close it, which is really nice to help people find this. If you ever need a pole or a broomstick, that will really help you out. Good. We're going to do a squat. Squat down. Hands down those hips. Outside leg. The one on the carriage push it, pushes. Then you bring it in. Exhale, you push, then you come in. Then the standing leg on the reformer, it pushes away. Then you come in, smooth that knee out. 
Every movement is as important as the next. Good. You're going to reverse, or excuse me, alternate. One goes out, bring it in, then the other. Come in. Exhale, press. Inhale in. Exhale, press. Inhale in. Good. Come up. There's our standing series. Okay. So, remember we did the uh, front lunges going this way. You could do the same front lunge having no hand on the bar. And since we're here, I'm going to say let's do it, especially on this light spring. Hug the toes. You bend that front leg. You find that split. Exhale as you come in. If you're long body and it hits, you can always bring that foot more back to the center. You split into that beautiful lunge. Exhale. So this is our standing lunges. That means it's our front leg that is bending and that front leg that is straightening to make this happen. Couple more. Good. Hold the back. You know I love it. I just keep doing more. I don't mean to. Back leg bends. Back leg straighten, that carriage kick again. Bend, now it's just in a higher position, we're not on the floor. Straighten, bend, straighten. One more, straighten. Good, come up. You're gonna help yourself get to the next position. Other foot's on that front former platform. The other foot's on the carriage. I'm gonna go ahead and have it somewhat to the middle. You bend in with the front leg, big Swiss. Push that carriage back. And then you exhale as you come up. Push that carriage back as you go out. Exhale, come up. Inhale, go back. Exhale, come up. Two more. Exhale, come up. Go down, we're gonna stay down. It's that back leg, you bend it. You exhale, push it away. You bend it. Exhale, push it away. One more, bend. Exhale, push it away. Good. Come all the way in. Very nice. I want you to step off the reformer, step off with the foot that was on the carriage. Let's put our bar back up. I'm going to go up to that low bar setting. It's right in the middle of where it normally would be set. set. It is one set under the back. So our low bar setting. Uh, and then once we're here, let's sit back on the carriage. Hands are going to be on the shoulder stoppers. Rookie baby girl wanted to come and cheer me on for this next exercise. It's a challenging one, Mama. Okay, so I didn't think. You straighten those arms, just push yourself up, bend in. Preparatory, straighten it out. If you have a really long torso or really long arms, it's a lot harder because you gotta push up more than lots of other people. Now, push the carriage away, lift your hips, lower down. Preparatory here. Again, press it out with the hips. Come in. You ready for the real thing? Kick up one leg, press it up. We're back. Come in. Press it back, lift the hips, kick the leg. Come in. One more, press it back, lift the hips and kick, and call me. One more, press it back, lift, and then come in. Bring it down. Mm. Whew. I, let's put on one red spring. Let's do a little stretch series. I know, personally, I left out some exercises that are advanced, because we're doing an advanced workout. Bring your feet in the straps. Again, one, one red. And your legs are going to find a split. And you're staying the split. And then I want you to find that moment where you got to calm your nervous system down, where it really wants to pull you out of it. Don't let your body do that. Palms up. Find a still breath. And just be. I hate a lot of advanced ones. There's definitely some I did miss out. But being okay with where we are. Don't want this to be too long. Lift these legs up to the ceiling. <sighs> Sit here for a second. Try to have some long legs and just let these legs pull up towards your face. Being okay with where we went. I got a lot of stuff done. Bend these knees in, grab onto the ropes. 
Drop one foot to the side of the reformer first, and then extend that other leg out. Settle in. And then both knees. Other leg drops down to the side of the reformer. Extend that leg out, other leg out. Sit here. Bend your knees into your chest. Take yourself out of the straps. Straps go home. Drape your legs over the bar. Palms up. Melt. See yourself looking down at your body. And just look at yourself. Up in this body that we've been blessed with. Being proud that we're here. Being proud that you're able to do a lot of these moves. The fact you're mentally putting yourself in this game trying to do this. Being very proud of yourself. Control of the body, mind, and spirit is Joseph Wadi's philosophy, mythology. By really trying to keep ourselves calm while we move. It does a lot for our nervous system. At the same time, trying to find alignment in all joints. Tell your body thank you, thank you, thank you. Big breath in. Exhale, blow everything out. But again, big breath in. Blow everything out. Big belly breath, big belly breath in. Exhale. One more. Blow it all out. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a beautiful day. Slowly make yourself back to life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.